Hello, Pistons fans. David Mayo from M Live here from the Palace of Auburn Hills. We're tonight the Detroit Pistons are 88-82 winners over the Oklahoma City Thunder, who played tonight without Kevin Durant and without Serge Ibaka. The Pistons looking for a little break in the postseason race. Maybe they got it tonight with Oklahoma City fairly well locked into third place in the Western Conference, choosing to arrest the number three scorer in the NBA in Durant and a key defensive peg in uh, in Ibaka and the Pistons win the game 88-82 with their lowest scoring game in a victory this season. Didn't play great offensively, but uh, a 25-9 uh, third quarter for the Pistons gave them the lead. They did just enough down the stretch to keep o Oklahoma City at bay. Reggie Jackson kind of took a victory lap after the game, uh, playing to the crowd, and uh, Russell Westbrook didn't care much for it, said after the game that uh, you know, they'll see Jackson again and they'll take care of that then. But uh, a big win for the Pistons who go to seventh place in the East. Their front line dominates tonight with, uh, with no Ibaka in there. They did have to go with a dual center uh, lineup in the, uh, extensively in the fourth quarter with Andre Drummond and Aaron Baines because uh, Stan Van Gundy, the Pistons coach, simply felt like uh, Drummond with Tobias Harris up front couldn't handle the two center alignment that Oklahoma City was throwing at them with Steven Adams and Enos Cantor. So the Pistons do it with a little bit different lineup in the fourth quarter. Uh, nothing pretty about this win except for the fact that, uh, that they do go to seventh place in the East, get a little bit closer with seven games left to that uh, elusive playoff spot. Haven't been there since 2009. Russell Westbrook in two games against the Pistons this year shoots 13 of 43 uh, against the Pistons from the floor. Uh, so they've done the work against him this year. They go to 6-2 and two on the homestand, the franchise record homestand that we talked so much about this year is almost over. Uh, Nine-game homestand, the Pistons are 6-2 and two on it with one game left Friday night against Dallas. We'll see if they can wrap it up with a 7-2 and two homestand then when they get back to it against the Mavericks Friday from here at the Palace of Auburn Hills.